Ali, it's the uh, pink game, obviously, yes. Mean, means quite a bit. You can just talk about your foundation and getting this pink game going tomorrow. Absolutely. Um, well, obviously, the pink game is is something uh, close to me. Nikki Call and I started our Champions for a Cause Foundation to show support for breast cancer, and um, we just continue to, to try to raise money, and we use it. We've, we've sent it to... to Cancer Center, and we obviously wanted to go to research and and give men and women uh, a chance to to be able to use their mobile unit to to get tested if they can't come in. But more importantly, too, it um, had a chance to go over to the to the um, center where they they get their chemo, and um, it's a powerful thing. It's just a powerful thing, and to see these, the people, there's not one person in there that didn't have hope, and um, their attitude is just incredible, if, if, if we can have that kind of attitude, because they all, they all in their mind are going to beat cancer, and rightfully so, so that was something that we did last week that I just, it, it, it was powerful for me, and every time I go over there, it just amazes me, the people's attitude, and, and I'm worried about a basketball game, they're worried about life, and um, they put my life all in perspective. Georgia is relying on freshmen too. I mean, talk a little bit about about them. I mean, you, are you seeing their young kids giving them the same, a similar kind of boost that you're getting from your kids? Absolutely, absolutely. They're, they play hard. Um, great defenders. Play within her system. Um, yeah, they're getting great minutes, and and they've they've moved Georgia to where. Last year, you know, Georgia was good. They've accelerated them and given them confidence to be a great basketball team. You look at what you're fresh, what you're getting from your freshmen. Now we're getting, we're almost well into the season. I mean, I know you had, you, you, they had big roles and you had high expectations for them. I mean, have they exceeded them? Have they been about? Is this about what you would hope for from with your kids? They I, probably exceeded because they've been put in roles that. Uh, They've been in game situations that we need them to produce. Um, knew that that they were talented, but what do you do when you're playing uh, in a hostile environment? What do you do when when the game's on the line? How do they produce? And I think overall they they've just done an outstanding job. I mean, they we've we've needed them and relied on them to win basketball games. Holly, it's 42 years of at least 20 win season you hit the 20 win at Arkansas <laughs> yeah just put that in perspective of, of that kind of success over that period of time yeah I Eric told me that when I was walking off the court didn't didn't even think about that but yeah we we, we uh, almost create a monster here but you know what we strive to win every game and uh, I, I didn't even think about it the 20 wins uh, we're all kind of still thinking about the losses we had. But yeah, it, it, it comes down to you, you got to have look. You got to have great players, and I've got a, a staff that that gets us prepared. And and these kids got to focus. They've got to stick with the game plan. Um, and we as coaches got to put them the opportunity in the opportunity to win. And so yeah, 20 wins this or last year we struggled a little bit, but this year um, you know every win's been a solid win for us. And and we've taken it one game at a time, and that's been huge for us one game at a time, and uh, I think you see the dividends for it. Did you did you speak to Renai about being more active, looking for her shot more the other night? Or, I did. Or? We, we, we had uh, a, a good discussion, and um, I didn't want her to just just sit back and let everybody else kind of do their thing. Renai is an, an incredible athlete, and uh, I think – when she has the confidence and she got she's been in the gym she's watched a ton of film her defense is getting be, it's gotten better so I told her look it's not your offense that's kind of holding you back it's your defense and she really took that to heart um, so yeah she, she had a breakout game and we need her to continue to do that I don't want her to hold back I want her to we don't I don't want her to just watch Jamie and Mercedes perform. I want her to be at that level as well. You think that's what she's been doing to some extent, perhaps? Um, at least on the offensive end of things. I, I think that that we probably 
needed to run a little bit more things to her, and we, we did in Arkansas. And But her ability to get within the offense and get open and rebound, that, that was on her. That was on her. She worked extremely hard to, to have that production in, in Arkansas. So I'm really proud of her for doing that. Because it looked like she was a lot more active on the boards. Absolutely. Even. And, Absolutely. And, that, and that was that was her own doing. That's her own doing. That's just that's just playing the game the way she she is an, a great rebounder. Um, she can be a really solid defender. Um, she's really tough on herself because she's a perfectionist. And so the more we can work on that for her, the better. But Every opportunity in the offense for her to get the ball and score, to rebound, and to do the things she did against Arkansas. How concerned are you about the defense? It's still, it's just you just kind of from game to game. Yeah. You, it's good and it's not good. I mean, yeah, it's got to be. It's got to get more consistent, Dan. It's got to get more consistent. And we, we we're capable of doing it. We've done it. Um, but we, we can't be on a little bit of a roller coaster. We've got to make a commitment to it. We we yesterday again. All we did was defense and rebounding. So we just got to continue to understand that defense and rebounding will win you games. They'll win you games. And the, you see the games that we've played well in, we've played great defense and we've controlled the boards. Holly, uh, February's a tough month for any basketball player because the aches and pains have built up. Avina looks a little gimpy now with, yeah. with that knee. How, what's the status of her knee yeah, and how's she doing? She's fine. She's fine. It's just, just we all are got bumps and bruises and, and so, She's fine. She just has a sleeve on just to, just a precaution and just, uh, you know, she, she'll go. She's going to start tomorrow. Is she, are you, with these young kids playing the roles that they have involved, maybe more minutes than, yeah. I mean, is there, is there some concern with that or, or, or not? I mean, when I played 40 minutes the other night, I don't yeah. know if she's done that all year. I mean, is that an ongoing concern or, or, or not? Well, I, in high school at this point, they're getting ready to get into the playoffs and it's a shorter season. So, I, we've got to be really mindful of the minutes and how much more basketball we have because it is a long season for them. But we, we've we've cut down practice. We've really zeroed in on what we need to do, trying to be uh, understanding that the wear and tear of their body. But look, it's basketball. They love. If they had a choice between practice and game, they're go, they're going they, they want to play. So I, I think they're. They're going to be fine. We just got to be understand that what we do in practice is very productive. You all have been in so many tight games this year. What have you kind of learned about your players in those situations, and can that help you know, later yeah, in the season? We're never out of a game. We have that. We seem to be able, when we need to, to pick up our defense or pick up what we need to do, and, and that's a positive. I would rather us not. I would rather us do that the whole game, but. We do. We 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 have a we have a knack of really when we gets down our backs against the wall, we really fight, and that's great. That's great. I just was, I want them to do it all the time. And for Mercedes, you know she can hit over a thousand rebounds and then fifteen hundred points. Just talk about her senior year and just all the you know the things. Absolutely. She's, she's well, Mercedes came in this program with a um, a lot of expectations, and she had she had some. Uh, her, her foot injuries were really bad, and, and uh, I will say this, Mercedes every year has gotten better and better, and this year, this summer, she got in the gym, she got in the weight room. She's stronger, she's more accurate with her shot, and uh, she's, she's, she's our, our anchor inside, and um, I'm really proud of her, because it just doesn't happen because you, you come in and you're highly uh, ranked freshman. You got to work at your game, and she has worked at her game. And uh, she's drawing triple, double teams, and she's handled them. So I, I, I can't say enough about Mercedes and her success here and what she means to this program. What do you Huge. see? What do you see in Georgia defensively? Their numbers are really good. I mean, they've always been a pretty good defensive team, but they're busy. very good, Dan. They're 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 aggressive. They'll be aggressive on the ball. They'll deny us. They're physical. They're quick. So we've got to. Taking care of the ball for us is going to be key. Um, we can't have any ill uh, just passes that we just throw out of bounds. We've got to be really connected because they're going to bring the pressure on us. So we, we're going to have to handle it. We're going to have to handle it. So they're more of a pressure team than that of sag it in and pack the lane. More pressure, more pressure. But I, I wouldn't be surprised if they threw out a zone against us. I, I, I don't know what her game plan is, but we're going to be ready for whatever's thrown out.
Holly, they're in second place. You guys are in a three-way tie for third place. In terms of standings with five games to go, this is a pretty Huge big game, game in it. And the, these ladies know it. Huge game for us. We talk about it. We're, we're, we've talked about it. We put it out there. Big game for us. Big game for us. So we're going to treat it every game. But but right now, this is this is a standing game, and and uh, we need to get the job done. Look, it kind of looks looks like the old days a little bit, really, when yeah. you look at it, doesn't it? I mean, it's kind of like the marquee. It kind of looks a little bit more familiar from from, from maybe back in the Absolutely. 90s. Absolutely. I, I, I heard on the, the the TV the other day that we were the second RPI conference. I'm like, who who in the world is first? Because we it, it's, it's a grind. It's just a grind. Last year we got in, what, nine teams, and this year we've had so many teams in the top 20, and uh, – it, it's uh, I, I, again. I keep saying I don't care who you play. Alabama's playing good. Arkansas goes down and blows them out. It, it, you know, LSU's playing good, and Auburn beats them. So it, it's uh, it's a crazy conference, and it's it, it's just a it wears you down, and you've got to be physically and mentally up for the challenge. Thanks. Thanks, Thanks guys.